Hello everyone and welcome back to the Homeless Mum Challenge and as I said I was going to decorate uh, off camera because I'm rubbish at indecision. So this is what I came up with. So new doors, new windows. Um, someone had said the change of roof tiles but I'm actually fairly happy with the roof tiles. So this is what it looks like just now. Got a wee jut out bit at the back and um, what I've done is added in some living room couches and tried to make it pretty. Basically sold everything that Maddie had uh, to her name. <laughs> uh, harvested all the plants outside and things like that and uh, got a wee bit of money. So the kids have got a nice big room as does uh, these two. Unfortunately, Kira has broke the flaming computer, so I'm not too happy about that. Now, back by popular demand is Kira's dark hair. My goodness, I have never had such an opinion on a Sims hair in my entire existence. <laughs> but you guys were like, no, Laura, what have you done? So I thought I would make the best of both worlds because you seem to be kind of split whether you like the bad girl group or whether you wanted her to have, you know, the pure girly look with her dark hair. So what I've done... Kira, come over here. What I've done is I've given her the looks that you've seen. Oh, too far. Too far, Laura. Um, so she's got that, like you've seen that. And then I've also given her a Everyday 3 outfit, which takes her to the bad girl stage. So if she is feeling a little rebellious or something like that, because let's face it, none of us really... I know I don't have one style and that's it. You know, I've got quite a few different options in my wardrobe and I'm sure that our sims are the same. So hopefully that's satisfied everybody. You've got the girly outfits and you also have the dark hair back and you also have the rocker check or the bad girl look. Whatever you want to think, we've kind of got it covered. Now, today... It is Saturday and Maddie invited Dr. Duncan over last night and got some really cute pictures of the two of them. So where is it? There he is. Um, he's looking super fan and she got a picture of him and her as well. And uh, Maddie wants to take the kids to the local play park. So she is going to go. She's feeling a bit sick because bearing in mind she is, uh, she is uh, preggers. Dr. Duncan unfortunately works on a Saturday, so we're not going to take anybody else apart from the kids. So, household, so we're going to take Blake, Ruby, and I don't know if Kira will want to go, but we'll take it anyway to this play park. I just think it would be nice for the kids to kind of get out for a Saturday, and it's a really cool lot. It's a tree house, a Tudor tree house lot, which I downloaded from the gallery. And I just thought it was really, really interesting and quite a nice lot for kids and uh, and things like that. Now, one of you awesome subscribers, and I will insert the name down below because I'm meant to bring my notepad through, just realised I don't have it. I'm going to post your name on the screen. Uh, you have made a potential love interest for Kira. And the way that it works in my head is that uh, Pumpkin Spice, or where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I need, I need Kira. Uh, the Glamour Girl. So Latte Pumpkin Spice has basically, her mum has adopted a boy or has kind of taken in a boy, if you like. And uh, that's how Kira now knows about him, but she's not met him. And I have to say, guys, he is mighty freaking fine. So if there's any way that uh, she can get to know him and get to talk to him, then that would be uh, quite nice. Um, so this is the lot. It is, as I say, it's a treehouse lot, which is really cool. And it's full of kids' stuff. It's full of this game. It's full of books. There's toilets there. Why don't you, um, why don't you play you and Kira together? Why don't you play that? Are you all coming up to play it? I think they are. Okay, this is super cute because they get to spend some time as a family in this lot, which is nice, because these are things that we can't afford to get them yet. Why is she embarrassed from being caught stealing? What were you trying to steal? <laughs> like, what were you trying to steal? And anyway, it was just your family. They know that you're a kind of kleptomaniac. Anywho, so, yes. Um, What does that say? Socialise with your child. Oh, yes, this is her new, her new thing. Now, I think I'm having a problem with the book, because normally it says... Um, if you read your book in front of a child, then you're supposed to be able to read to your child, but it's not working. So I'm a little bit stressed 
that for some reason it doesn't seem to actually be working. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave them, I'm going to let them kind of chill out a wee bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Kira a bit travelling. I'm going to go and see whether or not uh, Pumpkin Spice is in to see whether or not, so we're not travelling with them. It's just you, babe. It's just you. We're going to go and see your friend and see if her brother is uh, is around. And he is. He is nice. I also gave Lassie Pumpkin Spice a bit of a makeover as well. She is an absolutely beautiful teen. She's got a really exotic look kind of around her eyes and stuff. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I um, don't know why I made her blonde. Don't know why. But she was blonde as a kid and then it changed to red so it was a bit random right so it's almost Blake's birthday oh my goodness Blake is nearly a teen are you kidding me on these two better not have uh, <laughs> these two better not have get flirty because that's kind of that's kind of uh, kind of weird right why don't you give a friendly introduction now, this is Braden Bravo Braden Bravo and he is all sorts of uh, all sorts of nice so give him a friendly introduction. Like a few of you have said, you don't really want Kira just to settle down with any, just any old person, the first person she sees. So we definitely want to give, uh, give them a good, uh, good kind of go at it. Uh, tell a joke about ducks because who doesn't like to take the piss out ducks? <laughs> Speaking of ducks, I'm going to try and make sure I get the duck of doom back. Because I miss it, but how handsome is he? Look at his jawline, his eyes. He's lovely. You want to get to know his personality, let's get to know him. And uh, why don't we hug him? Let's see if he'll take a hug, I don't know. She wants to do something romantic, which is cute. Play foosball and send a happy hello, lady pants. Literally walking about in your pants. Okay, so he's active, cool. Uh, gossip a wee bit with him, give props and tell him an engaging story. I think he's gorgeous. Can you imagine the babies that they would make? He is so nice. Okay, uh, debate game strategy. <laughs> I really don't know if that will help or not, but she wants to do something romantic, so I'm going to get her to compliment his appearance. And hopefully the kids and Maddie are having a good time. You socialise with your sister. And maybe tonight what we'll do is maybe get Dr Duncan over. Hopefully, potentially. Uh, gossip a wee bit. And what about... Compliment outfit. And deep conversation. I think it maybe be a bit too early to ask for a date. I don't know. I kind of want to ask so that we can go on a date properly. But I don't want to push it. I don't want to push it. And then he's like, mm, no, I don't. Oh, he's romantic. Okay, so if he's romantic, it kind of means he's going to accept the flirt. Uh, let's do it. Said reveal crush already. Let's ask him if he's single. They're getting on really, really well, actually. Sorry about the quietness of just kind of, <laughs> just kind of engrossed in Kira and her charming of this guy. I really like him, actually. Once they're friends, I'll ask him on a date. They're friends. Okay. Let's see if he'll go on a date. It is a bit soon, but let's see if he'll go. I don't know if he will, but let's see. Hopefully he does, because that would be nice. And what we can do, we can take them to the treehouse lot because that's where the rest of the family is. That'd be quite nice. Uh, this lot is not available. Why not? Oh, why not? Why not? Why not? Um, okay, so if you were young and you were a teenager, which most of you probably are, where would you like to go on a date? We've been to the Blackberry Cafe. We've been to Andrew's Pub and Club. We've been to the Spano. I need to change it. So we haven't been to Pub Kearney, I don't think. But they're teens, so would they really go there? So I'm going to send them to the bluffs. Since we can't join our fam bam at the tree house, we will send them to the bluffs. And be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think of our uh, Braden. Is that his name? Is it Braden? 
Yes, bread and bravo. Um, so socialise with your date ten times. Brighten his day. Heartfelt compliment. And get to know him. So I hope that you do like what I've done with the house. I hope that you think that it's it's nice. I know that it still looks a bit boxy and things like that, but I'm just hoping that, uh, you know, as we get more money and as we build more things up, we're going to have more uh, opportunities to do things with the actual um, the house, <laughs> which is only natural. I can't believe that Blake is going to be a teen. Like, I don't know if it's, is it today or... Two days. So he's still got two days. What about Kira then? Uh, Kira, sorry. Ruby. She's got eight days. She's got ages. Do you also think, I was wondering whether or not we should maybe get uh, Kira a job because it would make sense that she would maybe, I'll need to look at the homeless challenge rules because I'm not sure whether or not, oh hello. I'm not sure whether or not, look he's became flirty. Nice. On his own. I don't know whether the kids can have jobs. I know that Maddie can. So I'll double check the rules. If you know, let me know in the comment section down below. So uh, yeah, these are these guys are getting on quite well. So blow a kiss. Romance. Compliment appearance. <laughs> She's like looking for some hot stuff. Baby, this evening. Right, take photo of a Braden. Let's say uh, I love the photo interaction. Do you guys? I take photos all the freaking time, as you've probably noticed. I think it's one of the best things that they've got. Oh my goodness. He's all sorts of cute. He is all sorts of handsome. Yep, he's going to grow into a fine, fine man. I'm telling you that right now. I'm going to fancy him when he becomes of age for me to fancy him. <laughs> <laughs> that I know already. Right, is there any seats that they can go and sit and talk to one another? Can they sit and talk here? Nope. Can they uh, sit here together? Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring Blake here. I'm going to bring Ruby here. And I'm going to bring Maddie here. It's probably not, uh, <laughs> it's probably not the most fashionable thing to do is to, you know, get your mum and, and sisters and stuff uh, while you're on a date. Oh my goodness, he's got a tattoo as well. Nice. Score, Maddie. Maddie. Kira. He's really into her as well. He is. That's so cute. So we're going to uh, compliment his pins. And then we are going to tell him a story. So we can tell him a funny story. That counts, I believe. Yep. Right. So are you here, Maddie? You are, and she's just chatting away to the kids. And she's popped. <laughs> she's popped. She maybe tell the kids that they're going to be... I don't invite to feel the baby. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know why uh, Blake's embarrassed. Why is he embarrassed? Awkward comment. Why, oh, why did he say that? <laughs> oh, Blake, I'm sorry, honey. Uh, why don't you... Uh, ask the cloud gaze. It looks like Ruby is bored out her face today. Right, okay. So, kiss your date passionately. Where is, uh, where is Maddie? Because I don't think Maddie would really want to. Oh, she's peeing in a bush. That's okay. That's okay. She's distracted. She's peeing in a bush. So, let's go ahead and uh, first kiss. Here we go, guys. <gasps> it's Kira's first kiss. They grow up so fast. Oh my goodness, so cute. And of course, I know, I'm sorry. I have to get the picture. <laughs> so I think that these guys have been quite natural, really, with their sort of progress and stuff like that. So I'm not going to ask him to be boyfriend quite yet. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, mess around in the bush, ask to be boyfriend. But yeah, I'm not going to ask him to be a boyfriend yet. I want to know your opinion, first of all. Uh, because, as I say, we don't really want to kind of rush in, but I, oh my goodness, <laughs> but I do think that they did become friends really quickly, there's been no negative moodlets or anything like that, have deep conversations, so deep, so deep, deep conversation, I kind of like to get a gold because then we can sell what we get, 
Yes, we got a gold. Nice. Okay, can we kiss passionately? Um, we don't need to. We've kind of got a gold. So why don't we... Uh, let's swim here together. So let's everybody go in the pool and chill out. And why don't you go in the pool as well? Why don't you go in? She's bored out her mind for some bizarre... Really, Maddie? Really, Maddie? You sleeping in a bush? You're sleeping in a bush. What's wrong with you, Blake, sweetheart? You know you can get over here. Come on, Blake. You know you can. Who the hell is it? <laughs> Why don't you jump into pool? Do a cannonball. Ruby's coming. Come on, Ruby. Hopefully this will cheer you up a little bit, sweetheart. Because your negative moodlets are thinging me out, man. Don't like negativity in my life, Ruby. Right, up you get, lady. Imagine sleeping in a pissy bush. A bush that people have peed in and you're you're uh, sleeping in it. That's just wrong. While she's here, while she's here and the kids are enjoying their time, I'm going to get her to look for any sort of collectibles that she can. I don't think there is much here at the Bluffs, but if there is anything, I'm going to get her to get it because we need money. Take a cut of the bluebell plant. Why not? Why not? Anything over here? Wild strawberry bush. Strawberry bush. I can't even speak. Strawberry bush. Um, can she steal anything here? I don't think she will be able to steal. Oh, I grow fruit tree in the wild. Oh, look at you just hiding at the back here. Just hiding away from me. Right, Kira, where are you? She's still, she's still basking in the glory of uh, Mr. Hayden. She's still basking in the glory She's needing a pee desperately. <laughs> She's like, um, yeah, so I think what you should do, I think what you should do because the last thing you want to do is piss yourself in front of the really hot guy. So go and fertilise the bush. And how are you getting on? She's she's like, yes, Laura, just you send me traipsing around the countryside. All right, where are you? You feeling any better now? Yeah, she's feeling inspired. Thank goodness for that, Ruby. Uh, splash. Um, play make believe. Tell a goofy story. They're so cute. I love how she keeps her glasses on when she's swimming. <laughs> she's so cute. I love her so much. Oh, Maddie, I'm sorry. I've got you traipsing around. So also, a lot of you said Dr. Duncan was the one. A lot of you guys were like, yep, Dr. Duncan's the one. He has to be the one. So good stuff. I'm glad you feel that way. Because I feel that way. Um, extract fossil. I know you're hungry, sweetheart. I know. Um, fossilised egg cell. So we would have got 70, but because we have the curator one, we should get more. 236. Loving it. And a treasure map. Alrighty. So what I also wanted uh, Maddie to do is to get pictures of the kids. I think Blake's a way to fertilise so we fertilise the bush and it looks like Braden is going to come over and chat with Ruby. He seems to be wanting to make an effort with the family which is nice and they are like so hungry, so hungry, so tired, so everything. So let's go ahead and send them home and uh, yeah I think what we'll do, we'll leave it there because I think that's been time. Although I kind of wanted to see Dr. Duncan in this part and kind of have it seal the deal. Right, I'm going to pause it and then we're going to go and get Duncan... Du Duncan Donuts? <laughs> no. Uh, Dr. Duncan over. Two ticks. Alrighty guys, we're back home and the toilet is broke as is the PC. But because Dr. Duncan's coming over, I've decided just to hire the, um, no we're not going out Lydia, I've decided just to hire someone. So we're going to flatter because Duncan is here. The reason I'm kind of wanting to uh, get his commitment if you like is because, uh, we'll share our big news with him. I think he can see that he's going to be delivering another Maddie Mason baby. <laughs> but because I've got the story progression mod in, I'm really concerned that... Um, I'm really concerned that they'll pair him up with someone and then he'll get married and stuff like that and then it's going to be like devastating to, to Maddie because, and me, because we know that obviously, you know, they like each other, they really do, they always have. It's just been something that's always kind of worked for them 
and he's delivered all three of her babies so far. So we can tell Uncle Duck. Du oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I really, really don't. Let's flatter um, him. We want to kind of get his mood up a little bit because just now he's bored. He's been at work all day as a doctor and he's bored. He's happy now, which is good. So you, you can't go to the toilet. She's going to end up peeing herself. She's going to end up peeing herself and ruining my precious moment. Right, what can you do? That I need you to do a pee first. Don't tell me you can't pee in a bush. Go and quietly fertilise that. Because I want you to take Dr Duncan down to the beach. 110 to fix up the... 110 to fix that up is not bad, actually. Not bad. Fix the computer as well. Um, call him over. Call him over from the stinky bush that you've just peed in. <laughs> right, go. Can you, can you go here? No, you're not going home. You're going to call him over. Um, invite to feel baby. Not near the bush. <laughs> not near the bush. We can't have a romantic moment near the bush. The bush is steaming with your pee. <laughs> we actually can. Uh, chat down here. Duncan, come over. Nice. Okay, good. Because this is a romantic scene, is it not? Is it not? And why don't we, for the very, very first time, um, flirt with him? and see how he reacts. Now obviously he knows that she's got all these babies and things like that. She's pregnant again. How will he respond? He freaking loves it. He freaking loves it. Now let's embrace with him. And um, we will confess our attraction. Ma Maddie, can you, can you confess your attraction? Uh, chat with him. You wanna confess? Become best friends, let's do that, because that'll be nice. And then hopefully we can get the best friend part in before... Yeah, okay, great. So they're besties, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the bar up high enough to be boyfriend, but we can try. He definitely seems up for it, he definitely does, so I'm glad. Because my biggest fear was that he only seen her as a friend, but clearly he does not. Clearly he does not. So he's going to go, which is understandable, because it's 20 to 12, and uh, just as well because she's going to end up passing out. So there we go, Dr Duncan and Maddie are now best of friends. He's actually chilling out there. You are not going to get out of bed to pass out. Are you kidding me on, lady? <laughs> she is. She's going to get out of bed to pass out. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Get up. <laughs> Come on, you. Get up. Right, go to bed, darling. Come on. No! <laughs> Come on, Maddie. Get up. <laughs> Why would you fail twice? It makes no sense. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, you crazy woman, and the kids are all in bed. So I will leave it there. Please leave your comments in the description below how uh, what you think of the house, what your thoughts are on Kira and Braden. Uh, he's just uh, going to be hot to trot. Cordell, she really didn't build up a relationship with him quickly at all, whereas she definitely did with Braden. So let me know, like I say, in the comment section down below, and I look forward to reading them, and I hope that you like the compromise I made with Kira's outfit. And uh, yeah, love you so much, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.